Hello there guys, welcome back to another Maths video. In this video we're looking at the Maclaurin series for arctan x. So we're going to let f of x be arctan x. Let's just dive straight in. So I did make a video not long ago about the Maclaurin series expansion for the natural log of 1 plus x. The method that we're going to use today pretty much identical. So we're going to do an unconventional thing today. If it's a bit like, whoa, what are you doing? That's not normally how I find Maclaurin series go and check out the natural log of 1 plus x video, link is in the description. So this is not the typical way that you find the Maclaurin series, because normally what, you, what do you do? You just differentiate, substitute zero, put it into the formula, but we're gonna do something different because for reasons that I'll explain just now actually. So the way that you would normally find this is you would just differentiate your arctan x, right? So the derivative of arctan x, well again, link is in the description for this one as well, the derivative of arctan x is 1 over 1 plus x squared, like this. Now it's not obvious that you go from here to here when you differentiate, that's why I've put a video uh, link in the description below, because you, I think that's worth showing in and of itself. If you're happy that the derivative of arctan x is 1 over 1 plus x squared, then you would just differentiate again. But if you differentiate 1 over 1 plus x squared, you'd get minus 2x over 1 plus x squared squared. So the second derivative here would be uh, minus 2x divided by 1 plus x squared squared. Now imagine trying to differentiate that. It's doable, it's not that bad, but you need the product rule, or, or you could use the quotient rule, but you also need the chain rule. And then it's just a long day because after you've done that and you found the third derivative, differentiating the third derivative Oh, it just takes so long, and then you've got to do the fourth one, and it gets harder and harder and harder as you go along because you have to differentiate more and more stuff. The derivatives become longer. It's just a mess. So we don't want to do that. We're going to do a different method, a much easier method. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite arctan x as the integral of its derivative because by the fundamental theorem of calculus, the integral of a derivative is the original function. However, there might be a plus c. So we need to stop there from being a plus c. So I hope that we're happy with this. This is just the derivative of arctan. So it's just the integral of the derivative. It's just arctan. However, as I say, there's a plus c floating about in here because of this indefinite integral. Well, when you integrate something with limits, the plus c is not there anymore. So let's put some limits in. Okay, we want basically this to just come out as arctan x plus nothing. So let's figure out what makes, uh, what value of x makes arctan x be zero. Well, when you put x equals zero into arctan x, arctan of zero is just zero. So let's put zero as our lower limit. And then I want it to actually be equal to arctan x. So I'm gonna make the upper limit x. Now, because this is a bit dodgy, you can't really have the same variable in the limit and in the integrand. I'm going to replace the x with a different letter of my choosing. I'll just use u. So hopefully we can see that arctan x is truly the same thing as the integral from 0 to x of 1 over 1 plus u squared du. You could try it for yourself. Integrate 1 over 1 plus u squared. You'll get arctan u. And then the limits are x and 0. So it's arctan x minus arctan 0. And that's just arctan x, because arctan of zero is zero. So this is identical to arctan x. They are the same thing completely. So why did we do it? Well, one over one plus u squared has got its own Maclaurin series or binomial series or geometric series, whatever you want to call it. It's got its own series and we're just going to integrate it at the end. So one over one plus u squared, what is it? Well, we can do something a little bit devious. Well. As, we've, as we said in the previous Maclaurin series video, 1 over 1 plus u, which was in the last video, can be written as 1 over 1 minus minus u. So that we, we ended up with a 1 over 1 plus u. 1 over 1 plus u squared is just 1 over 1 minus minus u squared, isn't it? This is just 1 over 1 plus u. I hope that we agree, because you're squaring the u first and then it's minus. So this really is 1 over 1 minus minus u squared, 1 over 1 plus u squared. 
The reason we've, didn't, we've done this is because now we can write out the geometric series for this, because this is the formula for a geometric series. It's a geometric, geometric series, and it's convergent. This is the sum to infinity formula, but instead of A, it's one, some people also use u1. Instead of u1, it's one. And instead of r, it's minus u squared. So as long as the modulus of minus u squared is less than one, this will converge. Mm, lovely, okay. So let's just bear this in mind. All right then. So we're gonna replace basically one over one plus u squared with the geometric series that corresponds to this. So in other words, arc tan x is equal to the integral from zero to x of the corresponding geometric series. This is the aunt, this is the sum to infinity. Let's just go backwards for a second and write down the original geometric series that would give this sum to infinity. Well, it would be one and the common ratio is minus u squared. So it's one minus u squared plus u to the four minus u to the six plus u to the eight. Um, minus, you know, etc. forever. It's infinite. So this is what we've got. This is still arctan, provided that u, or the modulus of u negative, u squared, is less than one. By the way, the modulus of a negative is just the modulus of the positive. So this is the same thing as just u squared. And if the modulus of u squared is less than one, then the modulus of u is just less than one, isn't it? So just, this is another thing as well to make note of. As long as u is less than one, modulus of u is less than one, we're good. Okay, anyways, that's a side note. All we do now is we integrate this. So this is equal to the integral. Integral of one with respect to u is u. We end up with u cubed over three plus uh, u to the five over five minus u to the seven over seven plus u to the nine over nine minus dot 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 forever and the limits are uh, zero and x so it's the odd numbers okay odd pack because this is kind of like u to the one over one isn't it lovely okay and then we just replace everything with an x so um u to the one over one it's just x isn't it and then minus x cubed over three plus x to the five over five minus x to the seven over seven plus x to the nine over nine, etc. forever, done. Because when you substitute zero in, guys, to this, you just get zero, don't you? Because every term has a u in it, so it's just zero. So this is our Maclaurin series for arctan x. And we're basically done. As long as the modulus of x is less than one, then this will converge. And again, the reason for that is just because of this. U and X are basically equivalent to each other. We just called U, U because we didn't want to call it X, but they're the same thing. So as long as the modulus of U is less than one, the modulus of X is less than one, same thing. This is the Maclaurin series for arctan. How many times do we need to annoyingly differentiate it? Use the product rule, the chain rule, the quotient rule? None, none. We just did some basic stuff with geometric series um, and that's it. If you don't like the geometric series explanation, by the way, this also can be expanded out using the binomial series. You get the same thing. So that's also something to think about. So that's, oh, I've dropped the pen again. Why, the Maclaurin series, I keep dropping my pen on the Maclaurin series videos. It doesn't matter, guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Highly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.